So I have this cheap acoustic guitar with a piezo disc installed in it, but there's no preamp, it just goes directly to the output. This is not great because uh, piezo crystal generates charge in response to deflection, which means it sort of acts like a signal voltage in series with a small capacitor. If you now plug this into something with a low resistive input impedance, then you essentially end up with an RC filter that uh, is going to take a lot of the low end out of your sound, and it's also going to attenuate the signal, can make it more susceptible to noise and things. So in this video, I want to make a preamp that just goes in line with the guitar and amplifies the signal so that I don't have to modify the guitar itself, and hopefully some of these problems are fixed. Here's what I'm using for an enclosure. It's a mint container and it's metal. That's good because I can use it as circuit ground and then that's gonna shield from electromagnetic noise. So the idea is this plugs into the guitar. So that's the input signal coming in um, through that cable and then the output signal is just gonna go out this output jack. Ignore the band-aid on my thumb, by the way. That's the result of an educational experience with a U-bolt <laughs> for, for another project. I need about 3 volts for the circuit, so I'm using this uh, lithium coin cell for power. Here's a battery holder for the coin cell. The negative terminal of the battery goes to ground, which is the tin. Uh, the positive terminal should go to the circuit through a switch. In my case, I have a DPDT switch built into the audio jack itself, so I'm using that. The sleeve terminal of the audio jack should go to ground, and so here's a black wire to remind me of that, and then the output of the amplifier circuit will go to the tip terminal of the audio jack. That's going to be this yellow wire. Now I'm putting down some insulating tape to make sure I don't short anything to ground accidentally. And then I'll mount the battery holder with some double-sided tape. The black wire from the output jack goes to the tin. The input is just a standard connection for an audio plug. The copper braiding goes to the sleeve terminal and the signal wire goes to the tip terminal. On the other end, the copper braiding goes to the tin itself and the signal wire is ready for the amplifier circuit. The circuit is pretty much as simple as it gets. It uses two resistors, two capacitors, and an FET. I'm using the 2N7000 MOSFET. This is the drain terminal. That's where the output capacitor is going to be connected. So I'm bending it over like this. And then um, this one at the bottom is the source terminal. That's going to go to ground. And then the one in the middle is the gate terminal. The first step is to connect a large resistor. I'm using 10 meg between the drain and the gate. This provides bias and also sets the input impedance. Then the next step is to connect a one kilo ohm resistor to the drain. This is going to go up to the positive rail. And this resistor sets the gain of the amplifier as well as the output impedance. Now I'll connect a black wire to the source of the FET to remind myself that that goes to ground. The only thing left to do now is connect the input and output capacitors. So there's a 10 nanofarad capacitor at the input connected to the gate of the MOSFET and a 100 microfarad capacitor at the output connected to the drain of the MOSFET. And uh, the 100 microfarad capacitor, of course, is polarized. So you want to make sure you connect the positive terminal to the FET. Right, so now the free end of the one kilo ohm resistor goes to the positive of the battery through the switch. The output capacitor's free terminal goes to the yellow wire and the input capacitor's free terminal goes to the input signal wire. And the black wire goes to ground. So the wiring is done at this point. Um, I'm just putting down some extra insulating tape and then I need to find space in the enclosure to stuff the circuit into without shorting anything out. Add some hot glue to hold the input cable in place as well as provide extra insulation. Put in the battery and uh, yeah, and that's done. 